But they have a name for their cult. Why is it so difficult to take these people down? Yeah, sometimes people oh, leave. I mean, some, some of the money is because people have changed jobs. They may have changed their name even. They've changed locations. They moved overseas. A whole variety of reasons, not knowing that the money was even owing to them when they leave. But in some cases, not knowing about what free on to the um, Inland Revenue website and do a search under unclaimed money. The alphabet is clear along the bottom, so I can just click on their surname, um, so A, Adams, click on there, they'll then see the list of uh, names and the amount. And if they see their name, or they think it's their name, because it's sometimes just initials, which is difficult to locate the people, they can then email them to us, asking us, you know, is it them? We do need proof of identification, so we do need to see that they are who they say they are. And obviously we do some checks to make sure that um, they're not a bogus. Do you get false claims? We do get false claims, yeah. We have people who are opportunists, and uh, so we make sure that they don't get that one. Heather Daly from Inland Revenue speaking on Checkpoint. It's 14 minutes to 11 on late edition. Time for Dateline Pacific. Nissan Bolivanaka, Megan. Nissan Bolivanaka, tonight, American Sun. TNB's Regal as well. Now is new season. The new supply election deadlock is over. And the perjury case linked to Tonga's Ashika Ferry disaster is caught in the Supreme Court. They have returned their long-serving Democratic congressman to Washington, asking a trend on mainland towards the Republican Party. But six of the 21 members of the Territory Council of Representatives were unseated in the midterm election. And he has served American Kamala through thick and thin. I lived through eight years of, of a Congress that was controlled by Republicans, and I think I managed pretty well in, in working well the, with, the, with the Republican majority that they're going to have in the House. As I said, all, all these years, our representative the Congress cannot afford playing partisan politics. You have to be the kind of person that has to work both with Republicans and Democrats. The congressman campaigned on the issues of economic development and health, but was sadly defeated on the outer island of... Yes, despite failing to unseat the incumbent, she is patient and optimistic for the future. We are very, very happy. We actually do it as a victory. We did win several districts, areas to the beginning did not accept the win, and so we're very humbled by the results. But I think my supporters and I realize the Our House of Representatives was the outcome of some long-serving independence. Six of the members of the House of Representatives were unseated, and one of the big upsets is the Vice Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has had six terms, and he lost by three votes, so I believe that he is going to ask for a recount of the ballot, and that's going to be filed uh, sometime later today. Monica Miller says two new members have been in the House before, but four are first-time candidates. None of the three women running for the House of Representatives was elected. Monica Miller.